Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 11 of Let's Play Pokemon Go X. And like I said, I took some time and trained up our Pokemon on these routes. So they are all now at level 28, which I think should be pretty good for this part of our adventure. They might be a little low still for the next gym battle, but uh, I assume we'll get some more experience before we get there. So we are about to head into Reflecting Cave. And I uh, haven't been in here yet, so this should be cool. <laughs> no bicycling and no rollerblading. Aww. That's unfortunate. Oh, and we have our first wild Pokemon. I love the variety of Pokemon you can catch in this game. Even just like exploring these fields. Like, there were Houndours out there, there were Sigilyphs, um, Mianfus, all kinds of Pokemon that would be good additions to any team. I'm going to run from this battle just to save time. Since I probably wouldn't get that much experience from a level 22 opponent anyway. Ooh, we can see ourselves. Now, I wonder it's called Reflecting Cave. Tell you the truth, I'm thinking of never leaving this place. He must be in love with his own reflection. Backpacker Lane. He's got a Lanoon, the evolved form of Zigzagoon. A normal type Generation 3 Pokemon. Alright, so I am leading with Wayne, as you can see. And I think uh, Bulldoze is a new move. I don't think you guys have seen that yet. I taught him that in place of Takedown. It does have a lower base power, but higher accuracy, and it reduces the enemy's speed stat. Um, and it's a ground type move, which is useful because a lot of times people send like electric types, not electric types, sorry, uh, fire types out against grass types. Well, I wonder if I should have started with Leech Seed. Um, let's actually go for a Bulldoze for the speed reduction. Because it seems like Lanoon is faster. So if, if anyone sends out a fire type against Wayne, he can just use Bulldoze on them. Alright, nice speed reduction there. And I think we should probably be faster now. We are. Okay, that was well played on my part, if I can pat myself on the back here. And that was his only Pokemon, so not a tough win. To tell you the truth, I'm not even sure if this place is real. <laughs> well, I guess technically it's not, because it's in a video game. But then again, could we all just be characters in a video game and not even realize it? Hmm. I know some scientists say we may very well be. Can't go back. Oh, I can go back here. Secret item. I also found... What did I find? A couple TMs in between episodes. Thunder Wave and Rock Polish. But uh, I don't think any of our Pokemon could really use those moves. Another one of these guys. I'll wait for a couple more uh, wild battles just to see what you can find in here. And after that point, I'll use a Repel so we can get on with our exploration. With our spelunking. Well, that's cool. Crystal formation overhead. A nest ball. Now, a net ball, I think, is good against bug and water types. Not sure what a nest ball is good against. A Wobbuffet. <laughs> Haven't seen him in a while. Uh, we're not going to catch Wobbuffet. We're gonna... oh, I don't know if we can we run because of Shadow Tag. Oh, we can't, because of Shadow Tag. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to use Leech Seed. Because I feel like that's smart against a Pokemon with a lot of health, like Wobbuffet. Oh, that's annoying, though. So Wobbuffet is a really interesting Pokemon. Um, it's banned in most like tournaments and competitive battling, because it's so, or at least it was. I don't know if it is nowadays. But uh, because it's so powerful. Um, and it used to be... A powerful Pokemon, but there was a really easy way to beat it, and that was just to keep switching until it runs out of power points. So, because it can't do anything to you if you switch. And apparently, the folks at Pokemon realized that, and so they gave it the ability Shadow Tag, as you can see, which prevents the opponent from switching. And that made Wobbuffet extremely powerful. And you're about to see why. Wobbuffet knows Counter, Mirror Coat, Destiny Bond, and Encore, I think. Or Safeguard, I think, is the last one, but it can learn Encar Encore from its pre-evolved form. Um, and because of that, that makes Wobbuffet a very powerful Pokemon. I'm going to use Synthesis, because if I use Synthesis, Wobbuffet can't really do anything to me. So it's essentially a free turn. But uh, because of its huge health pool, and its access to both Counter and Mirror Coat, it uh, is a very powerful Pokemon, and it's actually a fun one to use. I remember back in the day... Like, my friends and I used to battle just for fun. 
we of course would ban legendaries because you know they were too powerful. We'd actually would ban even the the regular legendaries, not knowing that some legendaries aren't really as powerful as even like uh, Dragonite or Tyranitar. Um, but Wobbuffet would not be banned, and it's the same in the Pokemon Stadium games because it's not legendary. Wobbuffet is not banned. Any hidden items here? No, but a hidden Pokemon. So I would have a lot of fun guessing what moves my opponents would use and uh, usually getting it right and doing a ton of damage to them with Counter and Mirror Coat. And of course they didn't know that you could just switch to wait out Wobbuffet, so... Anyway, long story short, Wobbuffet is a really good Pokemon and one that's fun to use, but I would definitely not suggest training one because because of its moveset it would be a real pain. Like If you're going to level one, you almost have to do it with experience share. And we have ourselves another trainer battle. She has two Pokemon, throw. There's actually some good fighting Pokemon outside of here too. There's a Hariyama, uh, you can catch Sock. I assume in um, if you're playing Y, you catch throw instead. Now, hmm. let's start with Leech Seed. Because I know throw has some pretty good defenses, I think. But he is rather slow. Vital throw. Ouch, that did a lot of damage. Because Throw and Sock don't evolve, they actually have pretty high base stats to begin with. Not super high once, uh... Oh, it missed. That's unfortunate. Once, like, Wayne and my other Pokemon evolve. But for this stage in the game, they have very competitive stats. And... Two of my Pokemon do Aerial Ace, but Wayne is not one of them. And I actually do plan to teach him Aerial Ace, but he can't learn it yet, as we discovered the other episode. We have to wait until uh, he evolves. Alright, well, poor Wayne lost that confrontation. Throw is one tough Pokemon. Um, so I'm going to bring out Caleb, because he is immune to Throw's attacks, and he does know Aerial Ace. I'm going to start with Swords Dance to see what Throw does. Bulldoze. Wow, that's actually not going to be good for me. Oh, wasn't as bad as I thought. It's super effective, but I think Caleb actually has really good defense. So it didn't do that much damage. It did reduce my speed, though, but I guess I was already slower. And I do heal a little bit, a little bit by Leech Seed, so that's nice. Thank you, Wayne. Alright, and now single Aerial Ace should be enough to defeat Throw. After I survive this Bulldoze... And I'm guessing her second Pokemon is going to be Sock. Unfortunately, Sock's ability is sturdy, which means I can't defeat it in one turn. And Caleb's at level 29. He's the newest addition to our team, but he's actually been doing really good. Slash. Um, you know, I'm actually going to not learn Slash, because I feel like the coverage I have with my other moves are better than uh, a normal type would be. Oh, okay, it's not Sock. It's Halucha, and in that case, uh, was that fighting and flying? So Aerial Ace would still be super effective. So that's what we'll do. And I guess Slash is uh, about the same as Retaliate. Slash has a higher critical hit chance, but Retaliate does more damage if your uh, fellow Pokemon just fainted. In fact, we probably should use Retaliate off the bat against Sock. I didn't think of that. Oh well. You live and learn. Alright, so that was actually a pretty tough fight. But we did eventually win. And it does look like uh, there's a nurse somewhere in these caves. So hopefully we can get to her and have her heal our Pokémon. And we have another battle. After this one, if it's something new at least, I will use... Oh, a Carbank! That's a new Generation 6 Pokémon. Carbink has very high defenses and a pretty rare typing. Uh, it's fairy and rock type, so we're going to run because we're a fire type. So as a defensive Pokemon, it's uh, probably not going to be very fun to train, but I imagine it might be good in actual battles. Alright, we have used a repel. And I see an item up there. How do we get to it? Not this way. It's a Moonstone, not the one we need. We will eventually need a uh, 
dusk stone, I think. Or a dawn stone? Something like that. I think it's a dust stone. For own edge. But um that won't be for quite a while yet. Oh, she saw me in the reflection. Oh, that's cool. I was like, how did she see me? She was facing Yep, the reflection. Ace trainer, I don't know about all that. I just love Pokemon. Oh, we're facing an ace trainer. Usually you face ace trainers near the end of the game. But uh, they are interesting opponents. They tend to have powerful and rare Pokemon of very different types. Although in this case, she just has a Doduo. But it is still early in the game. Uh, I'm going to use... Mm, let's use Work Up. Because this could be a long battle. So having the staff boost might be helpful. Doduo used Uproar. And is it a female Doduo? I hope it is. It's a female... Yes, it is. All right, so that will be very good for us. I'm going to use... Let's use Fire Fang. It's not completely accurate, but um, I like that it has a chance to burn them or a chance to flinch them. And there's the burn. And let's see... Oh, it's... That's right, it burns after the uh, attack. All right. Still finished off Doduo. And next, Helioptile. An electric type. Um... Hmm, I'm not sure if Helioptile has better defense or special defense. I'm also a little worried it might have static as an ability, so maybe I should use a non-contact move. Let's use Ember. It is a female. Well, let's see what happens. Because the weird thing about... Um... Oh, another burn! Well, we're getting lucky today. And Razor Wind. That's a two-turn attack, so we should be okay. But the thing about uh, Litleo is that um, her attacks are, her better attacks are physical attacks, but her special attack is way higher than her regular attack, especially after that, um, after that Intimidate. So we're definitely going to go with Ember now. So it's weird that normally Ember would be the better choice because it's a special attack, but uh, because... Fire Fang and Headbutt have much higher base power. It's actually hard to say. But in this case, Ember is definitely better after that Intimidate. And Gramble, I think, is actually now a Fairy type, even though it doesn't look like a Fairy type. It used to be a Normal type, since it was introduced in Generation 2. And it, of course, is the evolved form of Snubble. As a fellow Pokemon lover, you're an ace yourself. Why, thank you. Alright, so... Hopefully not... Oh, uh, yes, I do want to use another Repel. Hopefully we don't have to go too much farther to find that nurse. Was she up here? Oh, what's this? Oh, a Pokemon fell from the ceiling. Guess Repel doesn't work against those. And it's a Woobat. The, uh, the Zubat of Generation 5. And we are just going to run away, because... I don't really see any reason to fight it. Oh, well, guess we can't go this way. We can come back this way, but we can't go this way to start. So I guess we have to go downstairs. And it's another trainer. Can we avoid this battle? We can, okay. I would fight her, but our Pokemon are not in the best shape right now. This is a one-way thing. I want to get this item. Whew, we made it. Yes. Can't wait until I can buy, like, Max Repels. And it's a black belt. That increases the power of fighting type moves. Uh, I don't think we have, have any fighting type moves, though, so I'm going to just hold on to that for now. Any secret items? Nope. Hey, look, it's me. All right, now we got to sneak back. Oh, okay. That was close. We made it. Ah, uh, hey, it's uh, Tierno. Hey, Cam. If you use the move Flash, not as many Pokemon will turn up. I didn't know that. I wonder if Charmander can learn Flash. I hope so. He has fire on his tail. I kind of depend on Flash. I'm still not very good at battling, so I keep running into trouble. I wish I could be as good as you. Well, thank you, Tierno. That's actually a good gift, because uh, it would save me money on repels. And might be cool for a Let's Play, because I could actually see some Pokemon without seeing nearly as many. Uh, Charmander cannot learn Flash. That is unfortunate. Maybe we can catch another Pokemon that can learn Flash? I'm not sure if there's anyone in this cave that could. Hmm. Maybe, um... Let's not use a repel. Maybe one of those little psychic guys, Scoliosis or whatever its name is. 
Or Woobat might be able to learn Flash? Not really sure. Carbink? Could Carbink learn Flash? Possibly. This cave does seem like a good place for Carbink. Now, Carbink is rock type. So Lana is actually not the best person to use here. But that might be okay. I'm going to try to weaken it. I think it has really good defenses, both like defense and special defense. Well, it apparently does, because that did like no damage at all. Uh, I'm going to try for a burn then. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to bring in a different Pokemon. But I would... Oh, Smackdown. That's going to hurt. Oh, sorry, Lana. Alright, let's bring in... Uh, Art. Oh, wow. Our Pokemon are... Uh, not in very good shape. Might have to backtrack to heal them or use potions or something. All right, hopefully this will... Okay, that's pretty good. And it's confused, so it might hurt itself and weaken itself further. Which would be nice. Nope, it used Smackdown. All right. Um, I could use another move against it to weaken it a little further, but I'm just going to start going for Pokeballs. Uh, do I have Great Balls? I do, but not too many. So let's use a Pokeball. And keep our fingers crossed that we catch it. And that it can learn Flash. One, two, three. And we caught a Carbink. Brand new Pokemon. Now, I'm not going to train Carbink. But I will keep it with us if it can learn Flash. Let's see what the Pokedex says about Carbink. Born from the temperatures and pressures deep underground, it fires beams from the stone in its head. It is the jewel Pokemon. Rock and fairy type. We are not going to nickname Carbink. Alright, and there's actually a mythical Pokemon in this generation that is based on Carbink. And Carbink can learn Flash. Awesome. That was my goal. And we need to remove a move, so let's see what Carbink already knows. It knows Sharpen, which increases attack. Smackdown, which is a decent uh, rock-type move. Reflect and Stealth Rock. Let's use... Let's use Sharpen, because I don't think I'm going to be using this guy to fight too much. So I wouldn't really need Sharpen. Alright, and we now have a Pokemon that can learn Flash. Although, for the rest of this cave, I should probably actually use the real Repel, because... Our team is, uh, kind of hurting right now. So while we might use Flash some in the future, I'm going to stick with Repel for the time being. Oh, watch out! Is he going to turn? He is, but not the way we're heading. Okay. Uh, I said I don't know how to get around this guy, because he's looking in the mirror. Might just have to face him. And it's a Psychic, so I probably should have put uh, Caleb first. Since ancient times, mirrors have always possessed a kind of mystical power. I will take advantage of that power and use it to defeat you. I'm not sure if it's a mystical power. They really just reflect light. And he has a Chimicho. Chimecho. Didn't uh, James of Team Rocket have one of these in the anime? I think he did. Uh, so this is another one of those situations where Lick is actually super effective, but Water Pulse is still the better move because of being such a better move to begin with and because of the uh, same type of attack bonus. So we're going to use Water Pulse. And we got the Confusion Chance. That's awesome. And... It used Uproar. That deck did a lot of damage. And I think Uproar prevents Pokemon from falling asleep while it's going on, something like that. Alright, two hits, not too bad. Arc got a decent amount of XP there, and Golet. Okay, that's a good, uh, good sign for us, because Golet is a Ghost and Ground type. And that means water will be super effective against it, since water is good against ground types. One hit KO. Nice. Alright, the mystical power bounced back and defeated me instead. So onward we go, and hopefully we're getting close to where that nurse was. Oh, that guy, I was sure he had saw me. But he apparently did not. I see a couple of trainers up ahead. Any secret items in here? No. 
Uh, yes, use another repel. We might have to go past them in a second, but let's grab this item first. Hyper Potion, nice. In fact, I think I'm actually going to use a couple potions on uh, Art, since uh, she could use some... Actually, wow, both my Pokemon could use some medicine. I only have one potion left, but I do have six super potions. So let's use one of those on Caleb, and one of those on Art. Like I said, I'm going to try not to use any potions or items in actual trainer battles. I think it makes them more fun, but I don't mind using them between trainer battles because their Pokemon start fully healed, so it's only fair that mine should too. Alright, let's see if we have a double battle, and if we do, I want to make sure that those two are up front. Um, yeah, they basically are because Wayne and uh, Lana are defeated. What is Charmander? What's that? Uh... Oh, I guess that means how many HM moves it has. The little discs there. Well, that's cool. I just noticed that, and I was like, what's that little symbol? Alright, double battle, here we go! What do you think, honey? Should we share some of our happiness with this young trainer? Do we really look so happy? Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess he's happy. And honeymooners, you and Amy. Well, if they're on their honeymoon, hopefully they're happy. And a Combi and Vespaquin. Alright, interesting duo. Pressure will reduce our power points even further than normal. Okay, so these are both bug and flying types, um, which means Aerial Ace is super effective. And I think, however, let me check out Art's stats. Because I think Art has better special attack, but I don't know by how much. That's a 42 to 66. That's a pretty big deal. Um, so it's kind of hard to say if Water Pulse or uh, if Aerial Ace would be better. I think Water Pulse actually might be better. So I'm actually going to go with that. And let's try to take down Vespaquin, because it's definitely the stronger Pokemon. And between Shadow Clone and Aerial Ace, I'm pretty sure Aerial Ace will do more damage. And the reason I think Water Pulse will do more damage is because uh, both Water Pulse and Aerial Ace, I believe, are base 60 power moves. So those that's equal. And... Uh, the difference is that Water Pulse gets the same type of attack bonus, and it's based off of Art's much higher special attack. Whereas Aerial Ace is super effective, so it's doubled. So essentially, Water Pulse would have an effective base power of 90. Some quick math here. Aerial Ace would have an effective base power of 120. And I'm going to use Water Pulse on Vespaquin, Aerial Ace on Combi this time. But um, because my special attack is more than 50% better than my attack stat, that means, I think if, if this is how the equations work, that means Water Pulse would actually have a base power of, uh, let's see, at least 135 compared to Aerial Ace's 120. So even so, I'm, I'm pretty sure in this circumstance Water Pulse is better. It also, of course, depends on the opponent Pokemon's defense versus their special defense and all that. And I'm probably really overthinking this, but uh, yeah, long story short, that's why I use Water Pulse. And look, the battle's over and we won. Yay! I don't mind if I lose, as long as I'm with my darling, I feel like I'm on top of the world. Well, I suppose I am rather happy. Good. Glad you two are happy. And I will be happy if I can find a nurse. I found an iron. That's not quite the same thing, but... Hey, I'll take it. I'm going to go up these steps first because I think this might be where the nurse was. That's where the boulder was, and there she is. Or doctor, she could be a doctor. Uh, there may be more than one example of the reveal glass first found in Unova. That's what the latest research seems to suggest. It's a real breakthrough. Oh, sorry, don't you know? A reveal glass is a mirror that has the ability to transform Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus back to their original forms. So she's not a doctor or a nurse, she is a researcher. And she is not going to heal my Pokemon. Ah, I was, oh, I didn't mean to jump down that ledge. Drats. Well, okay. Yeah, someone around repels here soon. <laughs> All right. If I was smart, I'd probably go back and, uh, oh, watch out. Did I go this way before? I think I did. Oh, I should have pushed that boulder down, then I could have gone back. Why didn't I do that? 
I was not thinking, obviously. All right, sorry about that. But we did this once, we can do it again, right? That was close. All right, made it. I don't know if staying close to them has any effect. Will he heal my Pokemon? Probably not. No. All right. Yes, I need to stock up on more repels after this. All right, if we can sneak past this guy. Run, run. Oh, that was close. I thought he saw me. This is a very pretty cave, though. I think we already fought this guy, right? Did we? I don't remember. I know we fought those two. Yes. <laughs> I think I have like one or two repels left. Uh, all right, so let's go up here just to push this. Well, there was a cave out here too, right? Like an exit. So maybe this is the uh, the exit to the cave. Yeah, I had a feeling he might battle me, but he's a hiker. So I think I have the advantage here because uh, Arch beat against any rock types he has. And if he has like fighting types, then uh, I have Caleb for that. I also think I might have said in an earlier episode that uh, Dune Sparse was a ground type. It's actually a normal type. I don't know why I thought it was a ground type. I guess because it kind of looks like a ground type, but it's not. It is normal type. All right, that was easy. Bye bye, Sandile. Some more XP for Art and Diggers B, which is the evolved form of Bunner B or whatever it's called. We saw some of them early on. And as a normal and ground type, it will also be weak to Water Pulse. Very nice. And let's see who his last Pokemon is. A Dwebble! A Rock and Bug type. Once again, weak to Water Pulse. So I'm glad I fought this guy because it was nice and easy experience for Art here. And I probably will come back and train in this cave in between episodes. Because I might as well defeat those trainers for some extra money and some extra experience points. This battle got my clothes in such a disarray. I better use this mirror here to tidy up. All right, so let's push this thing down. I don't know if it stays here. If I leave the cave and come back in, probably not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Still a little surprised that Charmander can't learn Flash. Uh, and I think there was nothing down here except that ledge, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna make the same mistake again. So I see daylight and that's where we're going to head. I think we made it! Shalor City! And I see a Pokemon Center, yay! Repel's effect wore off. And that was my last one too, because it, it didn't ask me if I wanted to use another. So before I do anything else, let's go ahead and buy some more Repels. There's two guys here. Oh, he has uh, TMs. Dig, Poison Jab, Safeguard, Hail, Sandstorm, and, and Quit. Quit is not a TM, it's just the Quit option. Uh, poison Jab and Dig are actually both pretty good moves. I might buy one of them, or both. We have lots of money, so let me um, buy some repels first, though. All right, so I'm going to buy a couple more Great Balls in case we have any more catching to do. Let's buy five more. And I think if you buy ten Pokeballs, you get a Luxury Ball for free, which is kind of cool. There's nothing... not a Luxury Ball. A uh, Premier Ball. Or maybe that's not in this game. I don't know. Might only be in other games. Revives? I don't know if we have any Revives. We do. I'm going to buy three more, though. And Super Potions, let's buy six more of them. Might as well not be stingy here. I'm going to buy some Potions too, because sometimes your Pokemon are only... Like if you use a Super Potion, they might have like, you know, 18 health left to restore. So you don't want to use another Super Potion, but having a Potion could be useful. How are we doing on these things? I'm going to try to make sure I have like five of each of these, just in case. Not that I'll probably remember to use them, but... We have a lot of money set up at this point. Might as well make some use of it. I have a bad habit of being really stingy with my money in video games and then ending the game with like lots of extra money that I didn't use. Particularly in Pokemon games. Less so in other games, I guess. So, uh, I guess because Pokemon games don't really have an ending, per se. You can always keep playing them. Uh, let's get two more of those. And my bread and butter, repel and super repel. Now, it's much more efficient to buy Super Repels, because there are 200 steps for $500, or Poké Dollars. And this is only 100 steps for 350 So, let's buy... I'm just going to buy a lot of these, because I know we're going to use them sooner or later. Alright, we still have plenty of... I'm calling those Poké Dollars. I'm not sure if that's actually the symbol for, like, Japanese Yen or something. 
but it looks like a P, so I've always thought it was like Poké Dollars. Um, all right, let's buy both Dig and Poison Jab, because they're both pretty good moves, and I feel like our Pokémon could probably learn them. Nope, that's all for today. Thank you. So let's go ahead and see who can learn those moves. I really like how they show you before you even uh, try it. So a lot of Pokémon can learn Dig. Wow, that's that's good. And Dig is now a base 80 power move, which is makes a lot of sense, because Earthquake is base 100. And is pretty much a better move in every way. Nobody could learn Poison Jab. I thought Art might be able to. That's a pretty good um, Poison type attack. Alright, so maybe maybe when he evolves he'll be able to? Not sure. Um, as far as the rest of these moves go... I could teach Rock Tomb to Art. But the thing is it's a, a physical attack. And Art really is not a physical attacker. Shadow Claw... Rock Smash is not that good. They can't learn... Uh, Vino Shock, don't want to learn False Swipe. Return could be good, but I'm not really sure how much they like me at this point. Dig, however, I definitely want to teach a few of my Pokemon. Um, so, I don't Bulldoze, I actually really like Bulldoze because of the speed drop. And it only takes one turn, but Dig is more powerful. Decisions, decisions. Let's definitely teach it to Lana. Yes, we are going to forget... I'm actually going to forget, I think, Work Up, just because Lana, I'm not really sure, has the defenses to have a build-up turn, and then really to uh, sweep with her actual attacks. So let's go ahead and teach Lana Dig, which is a... Again, it's a physical attack, but at least it's a really good physical attack, and I have uh, a lot of special attackers. Um, well, I guess two and two at the moment. So I'm going to teach it to Art, since it's definitely going to be better than Lick. I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, we are going to replace the move Lick with Dig. Nice. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and teach it to uh, to Wayne as well. Even though I kind of like her moveset now. Uh, what's her speed? 40? It's really tempting to keep Bulldoze, but I guess Dig is more powerful. I could also delete one of these, but having two Ground-type moves... Hmm. The other nice thing about Bulldoze, though, is that it apparently hits multiple Pokémon, and I guess lowers the speed of all, and that could be really nice in, like, Horde encounters. For decisions, decisions. Alright, let's go ahead and replace Bulldoze with Dig. And Wayne learned Dig. All right, nice. So we didn't get a lot of use out of Poison Jab, at least not yet. But uh, who knows? Maybe in the future. I've been playing this totally sweet game recently. You play as some cool little dude who runs around and whacks enemies to the beat of the music. I'm not sure what game he's referring to, but it doesn't really sound like my cup of tea. All right, now we do have a full team now with Carbink, even though Carbink is a uh, not going to be a permanent addition, necessarily. They're very rare, but you can find mysterious stones filled with life energy. I wonder if those are uh, the Mega Evolution stones he's talking about. Alright, well, we have made it to our next city. I guess let's explore a little bit. And then when we come back in the next episode, we will face the next gym. Let's go in these houses first. If you're a trainer, will you show me how you're raising your Pokemon? Sure. Uh, hopefully a lot of my Pokemon like me by this point, especially like Lana and Wayne and Art, who I've had for a long time. But I'm thinking Art will probably like me the best, since I had her from the beginning. You've raised it well, I can feel a bit of love. I wonder if he gives you rewards if you like have a Pokemon that really likes you. Do you have any flying or psychic type? I don't. Sorry. Maybe one day? We'll see. As you imitate someone, you'll create your own style. If you want to be strong, it might be a good idea to imitate a strong trainer. Eh. Not a big fan of that. Although I have thought it'd be cool to like go through the game, or a game, using like the same team as like a, a Pokemon trainer in that game. Like if you went through Pearl using Cynthia's team, or um, you know, Red using Lance's team. That could be a lot of fun. Oh, she gave me a Soothe Bell. That's actually an item which makes your Pokemon like you even more. 
But uh, I'm not too concerned with that. I think they're going to like me sooner or later anyway. She's telling us about natures. What about you two? Anything interesting to say? Check the Holocaster for the latest news. See, it'd be nice if the Holocaster was like just down here on the screen that I could use. Nope, don't want to do that. All right. But it's not. What's in this house? A researcher? A Kalos Pokedex? I've seen 55 coastal Pokemon. Oh, and I got an Eviolite for it. Um, what does it do? Oh, that's right. It raises the defense and special defense for a Pokemon holding it. It only works on Pokemon that can evolve, but haven't finished evolving. That's actually a really good item. And there's actually some Pokemon you can use in competitive battling merely because this item exists. Like Chansey, I think, is actually not better than Blissey because of the Evoliite. So let's definitely give that to one of our Pokemon. Um, but which one could use it the best? Let's see. So Wayne has a Miracle C, which is definitely good for a Grass type. The Rocky Helmet has actually been really useful so far. Uh, Amulet Coin doubles my earnings. That's kind of nice too. And Silver Power Powder increases Bug type moves, right? And we already forgot our Bug type move. So let's actually give the EVO Light to Caleb. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give the EVO Light to Lana. Since I feel like she could definitely use the defense boost. She seems to get attacked a lot. I found a Mind Plate too. But we don't know any Psychic type moves. Oh, Nest Ball is based on the level of the wild Pokemon. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to give the Soothe Bell to... Or not this, the Eviolite to Lana. And then I'm going to give the Rocky Helmet to Caleb. All right. Good deal. What about you? See, it's definitely a good idea to talk to all these people in these houses. There exists an item that can change a Pokemon's ability. That's what I've heard, but where do I actually find one? I didn't know that. That's interesting. That's a new addition to the games, because they did not have that in previous generations. That would be really interesting, too, because um, Art's line, the uh, Frogadier line, has a hidden ability called... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Torrent is the current ability. Uh, I'll think of it. It's on the tip of my tongue. But basically what it does is... It, Protean. And Protean changes your type to to whatever move you're about to use, which means you always get same type attack bonus. So that's a really good ability, and it'd be really cool if Art could uh, have that. But we'll have to keep an eye out for the item down the road. I was invited out the other day by a friend who recently joined up with Team Flare. Uh-oh. He just kept going on about how only Team Flare had a future to look forward to. Get an intervention, dude. Your friend is in trouble. Team Flare is no good. I see some steps. Is that the gym? I'm really sorry, but I'm looking for something. Oh, so I can't go past here. Why can't I go past here? Just because you're looking for something? It's kind of rude. Trainer tips. In super training, you can make your Pokemon strong by having them play for sports in virtual space. Huh. We might have to try that at some time. That sounds interesting. Maybe they're like cool little mini games. I like that better than like dressing up your Pokemon and having like contests. Uh, is this the way we came? It is. Alright, let's see what's up on this part of town. Hey, it's our friends, Trevor and Tierno. Hey, Cam, how's your journey going? Hello, Cam. Let's compare our Coastal Kalos Pokedexes and see who has seen more kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, he's doing his little battle. I've seen 55, and he lost again. I wonder if he always loses. Get this, I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh yes, I just remembered. The professor told us to say hello to the Mega Evolution Guru when we reached Alor City. That's right, I do remember that. That's right, he did say that. Uh, who are we supposed to say hello to again? A person called the Mega Evolution Guru. Oh, that's right, he did say that. Well, I guess we should look for him then. Where do you think he is, anyway? I heard he's in that imposing building deep in the city, the Tower of Mastery. Ooh, sounds fun. I wonder if there's a lot of, like, uh, battling going on in there. Oh, there's the gym. Is it closed? The leader, Karina, is in the Tower of Mastery doing some intensive training. Yep, not surprised. So it looks like the Tower of Mastery will be our next destination then. A team like you and Skiddo can accomplish anything. I certainly hope so. 
Let's trade one of your citrus berries for one of my leopard berries, shall we? Do I have a citrus berry? Oh, okay, cool. Leopard berries are the ones I mentioned before that um that heal your Pokemon's power points. So I'd like to grow some more of those if I get back onto my berry field. Which I probably should, because it could use some watering. Hmm. Hopefully I get more citrus berries too, though, because they uh, heal a lot of HP. So that could also be good to have. What's over here? Is this the, uh, the tower then, I guess? Who are you? When you act like Pokemon exist only to battle, winning or losing becomes the only thing that matters. That can make everything a lot less fun. Well, it would be cool if you could like have your Pokemon follow you around, like in uh, some other games. But that doesn't. Oh, were you the guy looking for something? Are you already not looking for him anymore? That's the exit to town. Did you find it? No, I guess not. But he moved, so that's weird. I wonder what. I guess you had to go past the other way first to talk to your friends. That must be it. I think this is the last house in town. I want to see every single move used by every Pokemon. It's a lot of moves. Alright, oh, and there's somebody in the back. I guess we should talk to them just in case they have an item to give or something cool to say. Eternal life. <laughs> yeah, that might be boring after a while. I wouldn't want eternal life. I'd like to decide how long I could live. Like maybe a thousand years or fifteen hundred years, but I don't think I'd want to actually live forever. Alright guys, well, I'm going to end this episode here. I will probably go back and defeat those trainers in the cave just to get a little bit more experience points. And then when we come back, we will... Face the Tower of Mastery, find the Gym Leader, and hopefully face her in battle as well. I'll see you all then.